prison in a cage with invisible walls The wicked zeitgeist of life making grown men crawl On their knees begging please save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back, no sweat Ho check and watch it shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer like the great pretender Ask the second amendment why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda It's time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots My blood is boiling Now, I'm watching Ancient Aliens here this isn't my culture. These aren't my people. It's not my neighborhood. It's really got nothing to fucking do with me. But at the same time, it's got everything to do with me. And I've done a lot of studying on ISIS. And you know the, what I have come to? Every single point in history even in times when the planet's been destroyed before. All of it was led up to by Islamic people. I don't think that's a coincidence because there aren't any. These people don't care about religion. They don't care about anybody. They don't even care about themselves. They just don't fucking know it. This is a fucking toilet film of the earth. These people are destroying ancient texts and fucking records. And I don't give a damn if you like the religion or not. It's like fucking... A hitman. No, mafia hitman. No kids. No women. It's just like a certain boundary. Everybody knows that you don't fucking cross. And I can't begin to tell you what I would want to do to these fucking people. They're not even people. ISIS. Found here are monumental statues of winged lions with human heads and massive relief carvings depicting the ancient gods of Mesopotamia. Here comes ISIS to the From rescue, August right? 2015, militants from the Islamic State stormed the ancient site, violently destroying everything in their path. After obliterating irreplaceable relics, they wired the entire site with explosives and leveled it completely, forever wiping it from the face of the earth. Ain't that fucking cute? Am I the only one, the only fucking westerner pissed off? Why am I pissed off? Why? This group seems to be more destructive than just what anything people can recall in history. It's almost as if we're being orphaned from our past. We are having our parentage, our ancestors, cut off from us, the record of them. It is absolutely barbaric what is going on currently in the Middle East with some factions going deliberately to ancient sites and just eradicating our cultural heritage. This volatile region is widely considered to have been the cradle of civilization. And its archaeological destruction could mean the loss of information about mankind's historical past.
folks, they don't call the Middle East the cradle of civilization for shits and giggles. There's two places that have seen constant war on this fucking planet since man got here. The Middle East and the fucking, the area around Guatemala, Central America, we'll call it. Central America. Those two places. Why? That's where fucking man started. Where man was created. Why has there been constant fucking war in the Middle East forever? Why? 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 I want to fucking know right now. I want one of these ISIS cocksuckers to give me an answer. I want one of these ISIS cocksuckers to come to my house. I want them to come inside my country. And they're already in the fucking country. And what do you think is going to happen when all out fucking war hits? They're going to be attacking all of these sites. They're going to be attacking fucking libraries, folks. With nobody in them. And you'll think, what the fuck did they attack a library for? These fucking people are all about wiping out cultures. They'll change your fucking way of speaking. The only reason this shit has existed is because of these fucking slime balls on the screen. Anthropologically, this appears to be the place where the first humans arose. This is where people came from. And all of the earliest civilizations, cities, governments come from this region. Okay? They don't care what your fucking religion is. They don't give a damn what color you are. These people are fucking subhuman. Look what they fucking do. They make people, they ask them if they're Islamic. If they say no, they make them convert. Some people don't convert anyways. But even if you fucking convert, they still chop your head off. Where is the fucking logic in that? How about fucking Israel? Oh, poor Israel with their little conflict with the Palestinians. Well, who's been fucking keeping this going for millennia and millennia and millennia? The fucking Israelis. The Jews. The fucking Jews, so don't give me that shit about Israel. Poor fucking Israel. It's poor nobody. You know who it is? It's the poor citizens. The poor public. The poor peasants. Government is the one that starts the terrorism. Government's the one that creates the terrorist groups. Government is Islam. They don't believe in religions or anything. They believe in fucking Satan. Get that through your fucking head. Islam is not a religion. They fucking deal with Satan. And anybody coming before me with that shit, I'll chop your fucking head off. In the name of Jesus Christ Almighty, the one and only King, the King of Kings. Your fucking time is coming, ISIS. Like you don't even fucking believe. I need to get off here.